Hey guys, here again with another video for Odin Sphere for the PlayStation Vita. And in this video, I am playing the last character of the game, which is Velvet. Uh, right here, I'm at 38 hours and 41 minutes. That's not bad for, you know, time consumed in during this game, uh, which is pretty freaking awesome. And like you see here, all the books on the ground, you can see all the times I invested on every single character, which is awesome. And of course, Velvet, I'm uh, two hours and one minute. And let's go ahead here and get started, of course. And um, here it is. She looks freaking hot. Uh, that's one thing for sure about this character. I uh, like the, her weapons of choice is like uh, chains uh, And it's pretty cool. It's really cool everything she can do with the chains and the special attacks and the abilities Look at like that. That's the dancing um, shot. I think it is uh, What it is is the, the chains go through every single enemy then they go back to you and it hits them hits them both ways Hits them when they go forward and hits them when they go back This right here is another cool shot there you do that uh, uh, by holding the square button for like one second or two seconds. Then she loads up and releases that. That's pretty freaking cool. And uh, the sling whip is basically this. You pick a character from one side and you slam them to the other side. That's what it is. Now, this character has way more abilities and way more uh, skills. Um, but like you saw there, I'm only at two hours. Uh, I'm playing this character, so there's a lot more uh, Fozons that I need to unlock. This one's pretty cool. That's like a, a War of Fire. I forgot the name of it. Uh, that one is pretty cool attack. Uh -oh. There you go. Uh, let me go ahead. Elite Handling Tonic. We got Cyclone. I keep hitting the, the map button. I don't know why the hell. There you go. <laughs> and uh, like I said, this might be the last video that I recorded for Odin Sphere on the PlayStation Vita, unless I don't know, unless uh, you guys want to see something in specific. I don't think after this I, I, I will need to be recording another video. Um, of course, the reason I'm recording these videos is one because I really, really, really like this game, and two, every character is its own story, has its own storyline, and I like, you know, upgrading the character from zero all the way to max levels, um, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty addicting. That's why I've been hooked to this game. Okay, let's go ahead. There's something. These things right here. Oop! I need the key. For that, I guess I'll get it later on. And here, and here, they, we're gonna be confronting a powerful mid mid level boss, I think. Trying to level up there. I'm at level 19 now. And wow, this is level 19. I think I should be upgrading a little bit more, but I don't have that much levels. I always like to go into the levels a little bit higher than the minimum requirement because it can be very hard. Uh, let's go and create this. Shine. Uh, blaze. And, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Yes, there's a powerful foe. There you go. This one we face, I faced him before. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, the difficulty level ranks up. You know, sometimes uh, the second time around, it's even harder than the first time around. So that's the thing. And of course, it also depends on the character that you're using too. Some characters are easy to beat some bosses. And with other characters, it's hard to beat the specific bosses. So that's one thing, other thing to keep in mind too. Uh, yesterday, I recorded a video for my top PlayStation Vita games played in the first half of 2016. Um, I hope you guys saw the videos. If, if you didn't, I'm leave, I'll leave the link in my descriptions. That way you guys can see it. Uh, like you saw there in the title, there's a lot of games that are missing. That uh, in, the books, in the books of a lot of people, they should have been on that list. But 
Of course, the reason that I record the video is to let you know the games that I liked. You know, a lot of some people say, wow, well, well, why didn't you include this game? This game is better than all the games that you have on your list, or this other game. Well, that's because I didn't play it, you know? And I'm not gonna put a, a game that I didn't play at all in my top 10 or my top five games of the year, you know? So that's the way, that's the way I do it, you know? And so that's the reason why a lot of those games um, you might not agree with, but um, a lot of those games I really enjoyed. Uh, the one that I uh, enjoyed the least, I would have to say is, um, is um, Rocket Birds, because I haven't got into the game that that, uh, that much yet, that far into the game, uh, because I've been busy playing this game, and I've been busy playing, uh, well, um, before this game, I was playing uh, Severed, which I was playing it a lot too, and I was also playing Ratchet and Clank, the HD collection. So I was addicted to those games, and but you know that was one of my least like games because I haven't invested too much time on it. But at least when I finish this game, I can go back and play those games. Um, also, XCOM Enemy Unknown, I didn't really like it that much because the graphics it has a lot of problems with uh, uh, with uh, frame rate issues and um, the graphics. You know, like I said on the video, sometimes. Uh, you see some of the uh, aliens, and they look horrible. You know, they don't they don't really look the same way it used to look on on the original game, or it, it looks on on Android and iOS. A lot of times, the iOS version, it's it's the best version of all the mobile versions, and it's true. Um, but but that's the only reason why. You know, other than that, every other game on the list, I really really enjoyed. I really really enjoyed. There you go. And of course, this game made my number one pick, of course, because, you know, come on, I invested so much time playing this game. It is so hard to put down, and uh, the, only, the only game that I could compare it to this game, the way that I've been, I've been, it's hard to put it down, I would say it's severed, that I couldn't put that game down until I finished it. And I would say Assassin's Creed Chronicles, I was addicted to the first game that I played I think it was the China version then I played the uh, India version uh, storyline I got stuck in one level but then I went to the Russian um, level and I'm still playing that level and it's pretty damn awesome so that's another game that I really like uh, but for the future there's still a lot of games that I want to play uh, coming up um, by the end of the year before the year ends uh, there is um, Lego uh, Star Wars uh, Force Awakens. Yeah, that game is coming out next week, but it's coming out on the 28th. And that's the reason why it did not make my, my top 10 games of the first half of 2016. Because it comes out on the 28th, you know, and most likely I won't be able to play it because I'm going to be um, taking a week on vacation next week. So videos are going to be very, very light on my channel until I come back. Um, I will be posting videos, you know, maybe short videos um, from my vacation location, right? Uh, just like I always do. Every time I go on vacation for a week or something like that, I'll, I'll upload like a short video on my channel so you guys can see what am I up to or what am I doing right now. You know, I might do the same thing um, during the next week. And um, I won't be home f to play or pick up um, Lego Star Wars Force Awakens. But I might pick it up during my vacation because it comes out on, on Tuesday. And uh, I might be playing it at night, you know, at, at, in my hotel. I'll be playing it. Definitely I'll be trying to play it. And maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I should try to record a video while I'm on vacation. I don't know. Uh, defeats the purpose of going on vacation right so but i might be tempted i might be tempted of recording something something uh, from my vacation location <laughs> location whatever so we're going to the boss oh yeah oh yeah we're going to the boss here uh hey what the fuck what the hell is that ah crap Everyone wait a second I got the key and I forgot to go to the other location. Oh man! Oh crap! I sh oh damn it! 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. I totally forgot to go to the other location. Because after we beat that guy, right, the level, they gave, they gave us a key. That key was to open up the other location where I couldn't, that I couldn't open before. There was, I think, two um, treasure chests over there. Oh, man. Damn it. Well, let me go ahead and skip this. Okay, let's go ahead and skip this here. And chapter three, act five, General Brigand. Brigand? Brigand? And this guy, it takes a lot of hits before his, like you see there, his health keeps, starts going down. <laughs> see there, you, you, you keep getting zeros from all the attacks. Zero, 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 zero. That means it's not doing anything. So you gotta try to keep hitting him until his shield, whatever shield he has, breaks. Screw that. Come on though. What the hell is it? Is it the, is it what he's drinking or what? Toxin. Drink on that, sucker. Holy crap. <laughs> there you go. Now he's starting to get, feel the pain. Look at that. Oh, you get. So besides Star Wars, The Force Awaken, um, there's also a couple games that I'm expecting to play on the Vita before the year ends, like uh, the disappointing game Mighty Number no. 9 on the consoles. Um, that game on the console has been getting not horrible reviews, it's been getting like 6, 5s. Uh, I don't think anybody has given a 7 to that game. But it's been getting getting mostly 5 and 6. And the game, I don't know, from what I've seen, the game actually looks fun. You know? Yeah, a lot of people are complaining because it, it doesn't feel like Mega Man. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the spirit of Mega Man. Uh, even though it's created by, you know, you know, Fune, which is, is the creator of Mega Man and has done a whole bunch of Mega Mans before. Um, a lot of people complaining because of that. I don't know. You know, I would have to play it myself because from what I see on the on the gameplay, it actually looks fun. You know, and games like that, games that are side scroller action games and games like this, I rather play them on the Vita, on the mobile device. I don't like playing them on the huge screen when on the huge screen I could, I could be freaking playing Doom or Uncharted 4 or MLB The Show or Forza Horizon 2, you know, high end AAA games. When, when I play games like this, I love playing it. I rather play them on the PlayStation Vita, on the go. You know, and that game, that game from what I've seen, it looks perfect for a game on the go, on the PlayStation Vita. So, I don't know, if it looks like that on the Vita, hey man, I most likely I will like it, and most likely it might get a good review from me, you know, because, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't try, I don't get influenced by reviews that I see on IGN and GameStop and GameStop, GameSpot, you know. I try to use it myself. A lot of times it's good when you see reviews, see the comments, and, and read the comments of people that actually have been playing the game. Because there's also a lot of haters out there that just want to see one game fail. That's how it is. That's, you know, that's how game, the gaming community is. Um, even without playing it, they'll claim, oh, I have the game and the game is crap as hell. Same thing, a lot of people say, oh, I have the Vita and the Vita is shit. I have my Vita haven't been, have, has been collecting dust and all that. And that's bullshit. A lot of times, it's just a freaking Nintendo, um, uh, 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 Nintendo fanboy or some other fanboy or some Sony hate, hate, hater just claiming that they have a Vita and they don't even play it. That's bullshit because there's a shitload of games on the Vita. And come on. You know, a lot of people do that. So a lot, a lot of times, I recommend it. If you like what you see, just play it. Just, just um, see the reviews. Know what you're getting yourself into, and that's it. You know, play it. You might like it. And remember, the, a review is a person's point of view. It's not the whole company's per, uh, point of view, and it's not the whole. Um, holy crap, <laughs> man! That was that wasn't that hard. Wow. <laughs> 
that that to that tonic is pretty Dear badass. Children, that was the world whirlpool or something like that. That was pretty now, badass. So, like I said, there's the a couple games I'll be own. I'll be playing later on in the future, like uh, Star Wars Stop Lego, which most this. likely is going to be in my top ten of the year. Uh, we also got um, World of Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy, and Mighty Number no. Nine, and plus now, other now indie games that might pop out here or there. Who knows? But thanks for watching my videos, guys. Let me know what you think about these video gameplays of Odin's Fear on the PlayStation Vita. And let me know what you guys think about all these characters and which one is your favorite character, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Till next time.